Is he doing sumo? What a total weirdo. I'm guessing he must have lost a bet. <clears throat> Mommy, what's that guy doing? Look away, honey. <sighs> Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Welcome to Guess the Bonzuke for Aki 2023. Before I get started, the Guess the Bonzuke competition with four days to go already has 134 entrants. The record is 175 set this past Basho Nagoya in July. The, uh, so many people enter late that, or towards the end of the deadline, that it's very, very probable that we're going to break that record. I think there's a really good chance of that. So even though previously I thought it was going to take some time for us to build up to hit the 200 mark, I think it's entirely plausible that we can do it this time. So make sure you enter, get your friends who might even theoretically be into this. Let's get as close to that number as we can. If, even if we don't get there, 180, 185, 190, that's all good. Let's just keep up in the game. Let's keep making it bigger and bigger. All right. Let's get into guessing the bonds. Okay, how does our entry look? As you can see, I've got all the math set up, but we're gonna start with the easy stuff, the Sanyaku. This is gonna be the same as I talked about in the draft. Uh, you can skip ahead to talking about my Gashir because that's where the interesting stuff happens if you already know this. So just to cover how this normally works, Terano Fuji, he's the Yokozuna, so he's gonna stay in place. Kirishima and Takakesho were our Ozeki in the last tournament. So Kirishima had more wins. He had six to Takakesho zero. I know both of them got hurt, but it still looks really sad. So Kirishima moves up to the top Ozeki slot. He gets one east, Takakesho gets one west. Hoshoryu is the new Ozeki, so he ends up at the bottom of the Ozeki list, but he's still there. Also, because Terano Fuji is over on the east, Hoshoryu gets moved over to the west. That's why he's at 2 west and not at 2 east. Sekiwake looks very similar for very similar reasons. Daisho and Wakamoto Haru had the same record, but Daisho was ahead, so he stays ahead. He moves over to 1 east, and Wakamoto Haru ends up at 1 west. Kotonowaka, with his 11 wins at Komasubi, forces open a new Sekiwake slot, so he goes to the bottom of that list, and he will be at Sekiwake 2 East. He goes East, because now, with Terano Fuji over on the East and Hoshoryu on the West, we have balance again, so he can just stay on the East side. And then, the Komusubi slots, with Abi dropping, have both opened up. Nishikigi and Tobizaru, who both had very good records at Magashira 1, are the obvious choices. They're going to go to one East or Komusubi 1 East and... Uh, Komusubi 1 West. Hokuto Fuji mathematically moves into a Komusubi slot, but from 9 West, nobody's going to open up a third Komusubi slot. So he's going to end up in Maegashira. That's a Sanyaku. Let's move on. All right, with the Sanyaku out of the way, we can zoom in a little bit further, make it bigger. Let's start with the top ranks. These are pretty easy. We'll get through this quick. All right. This is very straightforward. There were no ties here, so everybody goes basically in order. Tamawashi moves ahead of Ura. Ura gets stuck at Magashira 4 West because, as you can see, he had a losing record, so he can't go up, but, you know, he'll stay at 4 West. Tamawashi jumps ahead of him. Uh, Shodai, he gets an under demo a significant under demotion, but there's nobody to really put in that spot. Ganayama, Taka no Sho, and Takiyasu, as we can see, are all way, 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 way down here. Uh, Hokuto Fuji, Meisei, Asanoyama, they all did well. They move up. Abi, he gets what is a fairly normal demotion of two ranks with a 6-9 record at Komusubi. This is all perfectly normal. We're done here. And now we get our first sort of a question mark. Who is going to move all the way up? Because these are significant overpromotions. As we've seen recently, they have been very much prioritizing a good record over a higher rank to start with. So I don't think there's a whole lot of questions here as far as Ganayama versus Takano Sho. Even back in times when they would seem to prioritize rank over record, bumping Takano Sho from Magashir 9 East all the way to 4 on 8 wins would be, I mean, they would do it, but it would look really weird. 
Kaneyama should take the tiebreaker here. So he's going to move up. Takiyasu will go back up to 7 East because as you can see, there's just hardly anyone around him, but he can't go higher than that again because of his losing record. So let's make those moves. So now one small question. Does Onisho, now he was 5 West, but with a 6 and 9 record, he has to be demoted. So where does he land? Previously, I would have said, well, he should get at least a one rank demotion. So I would have expected him to land at six West at best. But as I saw, as we all saw, I was wrong about that. Not that long ago. Good old Toby Zaru, I believe. Um, was it Toby Zaru? I don't remember anymore. But somebody only got a half rank demotion with six wins because that was the thing that made the most sense. I said it wasn't going to happen, even though it made the most sense, because I figured they wouldn't do it. But we've seen that they will do that. So on a show to six east seems most probable. There simply isn't anyone else to really take that spot. Once you get Shona Naomi up to five west, who else is going to go up there? Ryudin? We're going to talk about Ryudin in a second, but let's just move these two guys. And now we get to what is definitely the wildest decision in this whole thing. What do we do with Oho and these four guys tied at Magashira 10 East? Well, wait, why is Oho part of this conversation? Well, like Onisho, you can't just push him ahead of the other guys because that would put him back at 6 West. He's got to be demoted. Well, all right. 7 West seems fine. That would be a one rank demotion. If a half rank is fine, one rank should be fine. You just put one guy up ahead of him. Yes, but I think it's going to be a little more complicated than that. Here's why. If we go with strength of schedule, which they have seemed to take into account, you've got Midori, he had six Sanyaku opponents. Hirudoumi had three. And Ryudin had one. He had Kotonowaka on day 15. Kotoweko didn't have any. Oho didn't have any. So I'm pretty sure Kotoweko will stay behind Oho at the very least. If all of these guys had some Sanyaku opponents, but the number is flipped relative to how many wins they got, well, Midori had six and he only had one fewer win than Hiro to Umi. So I think it's pretty safe to say these two are locked in this order. It's going to be Midori, then Hiro to Umi. But where does Ryudin go? And do they move ahead of Oho because of this? Well, someone's got to go ahead of Oho. Who's it going to be? There's a couple different ways we could do this. We could have Ryudin, and I'll start moving, guys. We could have Ryudin. This was my draft. Let me get this out of the way. This was my draft. I had Ryudin here, and then I had Oho here. Because just at a glance, that made the most sense. Ryudin, you can move up because... He had wins. He had a winning record. Those guys can just keep going up and up. With demotions, you can only under-demote a guy so far before it's like, wait a minute, he has to go down at least X far. And X is whatever the committee decides is fine. But if Midori... Now, we have seen multiple times that guys with Sanyaku opponents, especially multiple Sanyaku opponents, have been getting, in some cases, bumped ahead of guys who calculate one half rank ahead of them. And uh, on top of that, Nishiki Fuji in the last Basho got significantly under demoted with three wins at Maegashira 3, very similar to Midori's situation here. And he got under demoted much, much more than almost anybody had guessed. I don't think anybody got that right. So does Midori get ahead of Ryudin? Does Midori and Hiro Umi get ahead of Ryudin? And my answer to that is yes. I think that's how they're going to do it. In fact, this is how I have it set up. Now, I did some looking up, and three and a half ranks of demotion on 4 and 11, for at least for Maegashira 3, it doesn't happen. This would be the biggest under demotion for somebody from this rank in the last 20 years. But will they do it anyway? Yeah, I think they will. Now, if Ryudin ends up at 6 West, and then you bump Midori back, and then Hiroumi back, and Oho's still at Magashira 8, 
east or west, probably west. I think that's completely reasonable. I think it's very possible that's what we're going to end up with. Those were the two options I was choosing between. I would be a little surprised if my initial guess, my draft guess of Ryudin, then Oho, then Midori, and then Hiro to Umi is correct. They've just shown too much preference for guys who fought Sanyaku level opponents to for that to make sense in this one. They, this would be a little bit of a shift. Even though Oho calculated ahead of those guys, it does seem like if one is going to get ahead, three are going to get ahead. In fact, I realize that I have talked some shit about Ryudin lately, and so it might seem like, well, I think Ryudin is going to be ahead. You, you're just biased. The bias for me was coming out when it came to, I actually had these two guys swapped for a while. I actually had Oho ahead of Ryudin. So M Midori, Hiroumi, and Ryudin all tied, but I was like, nah, Oho's just going to be in front of Ryudin because he only had the one Sanyaku guy. That could happen, but that was where I figured maybe not liking Ryudin very much was possibly impeding my logic. So I bumped Ryudin ahead of Oho. Oho down two ranks. That's still an under demotion. That's fine for him. This is the thing that makes the most sense. The, the real wrench in the works is the amount of under demotion for Midori Fuji. But someone is getting a huge boon out of this. Whoever ends up at 6 West is very 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 much to the good relative to what they would normally expect so i think they'll give it to midori i wouldn't be shocked if it was ryudin but i had to pick something so this is what i went with from here things play out pretty normally the only question that comes up next we move hakuoho because he's a very obvious choice for nine west and then there isn't a whole lot of thinking for Endo, Kinbozan, and Hokuseiho. None of them had Sanyaku opponents. If we assume, as they've been doing, that they go in order of record, they don't even have to consider, well, but then this guy's going to get over-demoted or something, because there's three guys and there's two slots ahead of them for them to fill. So we can just have Endo go up then Kimbo's on after him, and Hokuseiho only gets the demotion that he was calculated for anyway. So that works out fine. Beyond that, as you can see, almost every, the only tie is Miyogiryu and Nishiki Fuji. So we can just slide these guys around and put them in order. And that's it. Now, uh, Meatball and Waka Prime are out of here. So we'll push them back over to the left. And now it's just a question of Atami Fuji and Kagiyaki. Initially, I put Atami Fuji at 15 West because when you're 11 and 4 at Jurio 1, you win the U Show. Just getting dumped in at way one rank higher at 16 West, I don't think there's any way they're going to do that. So that seemed like an easy enough pick. But then there's the Kagiyaki question. This is the guy who famously keeps getting stuck at Magashira 17 and just doesn't get demoted on 7 8 records. Now, obviously, he did a couple of shows ago. But well, he's pretty famous for just kind of hanging on at the very, very end. And I stuck him at 17 because, well, obviously, these guys at Maegashira, they had the harder schedule, and he did 9 and 6. And yeah, from Jury One East, that's pretty good, but they don't have to push him beyond the highest rank or the, the lowest rank. And then I finally remembered something. The uh, last Basho, they had. Hakuoho at the bottom, and then they had Aoyama. And Aoyama got his full five ranks into motion, even though they could have pushed him up further, even by just a half rank, and then moved Bushozan back. That would have made perfect sense, but they didn't do it. They kept Bushozan ahead of him. So why wouldn't they do the same thing here when, as we can see, Surugisho... If he moves to 16 West, he gets exactly the demotion he should. Daishoho at 17 East gets exactly the demotion he should. Why wouldn't they put Kagiyaki ahead of him? So logically, I think they're going to do that. And that's what we got for our Guess the Banzuke entry. What do you got? Do you have anything way, way different from what we have here? Is there anything you think is completely bonkers or that you hadn't considered but you think sounds really good? Let us know in the comments. Beyond that, remember, don't miss the deadline. Uh, in uh, U.S. time zones, it's 
around midday on Monday. So adjust that for where you are. Make sure you get it in. We want to get those numbers up. We're shooting for 200. This Basho, a later Basho, whatever it is, that's the next goal. So get that entry in. And other than that, I will see you next time. Have a good one.